This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. This is the last of three lectures on Chapter 14 of the free SEMA Paper B2 lecture notes uh, on real options. I said, uh, well, we've already dealt uh, in the earlier lectures with capital rationing and with replacement decisions, both of which involve calculations. Real options is just an introduction. It's You need to be aware of them, understand what we mean by a real option, but uh, it doesn't involve calculations at this level. So, real options. As I've said uh, in previous chapters, when it's all written as it is here and it's typed out uh, quite nicely, I think, uh, I, I'm not going to spend an hour just reading through, but just let me make sure you're clear what we're talking about here and the bits that you need to learn. Uh, and what it is, normally, in all the previous exercises, when we've been uh, looking at, oh, here's a machine, is it worth investing or isn't it? We look at the cash flows, calculate the MPV, and if it's positive, we go ahead, and if it's negative, we don't. But always we're making the assumption that if you go ahead, you know, you'll have to pay whatever the cost was, you will get these returns, you will keep it for four years or whatever the time period was. It's either everything or nothing, so to speak. Whereas in real life, more often than not, you are able to change. For instance, I'm not going to wind back, I don't suggest you look back. We looked at a question in the last chapter where um, we had a project, I think it was going to last three years, and we got all the cash flow information and worked out the MPV. But I did say always we're basing our decision on estimates. And things may be better, may be worse. And of course, if things turn out, if a project looked good, but things turn out to be worse than we expected, in real life, you don't generally have to continue with it for three years if you know it's going wrong. In real life, you can perhaps stop sooner. You've got a choice. Or if it's going really well, maybe we can keep it going for longer. We've got a choice. And that's what the word option means that more often than not, when we're considering investing in a project, we know there's going to be a choice that we can change our decision part way through. So real options is the fact that, not always perhaps, but that you're likely to have a choice you can make. Various different choices might be available. And they're listed, it says types of real option. They're listed on the uh, last page of this chapter. The first one, an option to delay. This might not always apply by any means, but suppose I've got a project. I think it's got a positive MPV, but I'm very unsure about my estimates. Uh, perhaps in six months' time, the country we're in, there's going to be an election, and the result of the election could make a big difference. You know, perhaps one party intends to increase taxes a lot. And so we're very unsure about our returns. It depends who wins the election. If one group win, maybe this is a really good project. If the other group win, it might not be. Well, wouldn't it be great if we have a choice that if instead of having to invest now, we could delay six months until after the election and then make the decision? Because then we're going to be a lot more certain of what the returns are going to be. Now, that might not always exist. You know, maybe the supplier of the machine, you either buy it now or you never buy it. But... If there is that choice, if we do have the option to wait six months before we make our decision,
decision, then I think you'd agree that makes it more worthwhile to us. We may have to pay for it. You know, the supplier may say, if you don't buy it now, you can't have it. But if we turn around and say, oh, but I'll, I'll give you 10,000 if I can let you know in six months' time. Well, maybe they will be prepared to wait. And it could be worth paying them 10,000 to have this option, to have this choice to delay it. The second one, the option to abandon. We may have looked at a project, it's going to last five years, we cost it out over five years. But we're not certain about the flows. It looks as though it's going to be good, but we don't know. Well, if we do find it's going bad, we've been run, running the machine for a year or two, and we find we're losing money, it's going to lose more and more. Well, we don't want to carry on for five years. We could possibly get out of it. If we've got the choice to stop, if we find it's going bad, then we've got an option, a real option, to abandon, to stop it. An option to switch or redeploy. We've bought all these machines <clears throat> to produce a specific product. But then in a few years, we find this product's not doing very well, but we thought of some new product which we can use the same machines for. So, of course, just because I said, oh, we are going to produce this product for five years, well, it doesn't mean, normally, it doesn't mean we have to. If I can suddenly find two years in a better product using the same machines, wouldn't it be lovely to have the choice? And if the new product looks better, to be able to switch. That's the option to switch or redeploy. Or finally, the option to contract or expand. Uh, again, depends on costs, it's not always available, but if you find um, we bought our, we invested in our project to produce our product, and we find it's going really well, well, why not try and expand? Buy a bit more machine sort of thing and start selling more. If you find it's not going as well, Maybe we can contract. We're not necessarily forced to carry on producing 20,000 a year or whatever we originally estimated. So the option to contract or expand. So be aware of them, be clear what they mean. Option is choice. I repeat what I said earlier that we've not always, it's not always the case that we can change things. But in real life, so often it's the case. Certainly the option to abandon. I think it's very rare where you've bought a machine and you're forced to keep running it for five years just because that was the original plan. And it's not doing well. I think, of course, normally you are able to stop once you realise it's not doing well. There's what we're talking about. You will see the words in bold, call option, put option. Um, call option, the right to call in and invest in the project, and the option to delay. Option to delay, we call it a call option because we've got the choice, the right, to call in, to invest at a later date. Whereas the option to abandon, you'll see is a put option. Instead of having the right to invest, to call it in, you've got the right to effectively sell, to stop, to put it out. Uh, switch and deploy, same way, put the existing one out. Uh, contractor expand could be either. If you're expanding, we'd say it was a call option, calling in to be able to do more, contracting a put option, putting it out to do less. So I hope that made sense. Uh, have a read, make sure, uh, but just learn the three types of real option. So I didn't exactly write much there, but uh, good for my hand anyway. <laughs>